Hi, this is Jason Hill with the College of Science and Health, and I'm here to provide you a quick tutorial on how to manage your professional page. As you can see, I'm at the professional page's homepage on UVU's website. The URL address for that is uvu.edu slash profpages. So if you go to that URL, this is the page that you'll be taken to. And at the top of the page, well, towards the middle, you can see an alphabetical index which uh, goes by the last name of the employee. So I'm going to click on H for Hill and I'll be taken to the list of uh, names beginning with H. I'll scroll down and I'll click on my name here to be taken to my professional page. So this is how everybody sees my professional page for UVU. If I need to make changes, I can click on login on the right side and the login credentials are your uh, UVID and password. Now keep in mind this is your UVID and password. I cannot make any changes to your professional page so if you do need your page changed it is important that you uh, view this tutorial and uh, make those changes yourself. And then you can sign in once you have your information entered and this is the first page that you'll be taken to Notice there's uh, two sections under, mani under uh, the professional page uh, management right when you log in. The first one is your information, your name and email. And so you can change this information from what is listed over here under official. You can change it to your preferred um, information. So in my case, I, I'm using Jason for the first name, of course, and then Hill for the last name. You can also update your email to your preferred email address. In my case, I just uh, used my UVU email address. And if you do make changes to this, make sure you click the check boxes for use preferred name and use preferred email. And then once you're done, you'll want to hit save to make, save any changes that you've made. And then if you'll scroll down just a bit, you'll notice that there is a section for your um, title your office number, mail code, phone number, and fax. If you do change your uh, title, make sure you want to make make sure that you check the use preferred title checkbox. And then you will want to include your office number, your mail code, and your extension, your phone number um, here on campus. And then once you have made changes, you'll want to click the save button again. So those are the most important um, aspects of the professional page, but there are other areas that you need to have um, up to date. One of those is the upload image, the image that people can see. If, you, uh, if we go back to my page, you'll see my picture here. And here is where you will upload an image by clicking on this link to the left. Now you'll notice that the images are automatically resized to 140 pixels wide by 172 pixels tall. If you have a picture that you want to use for your professional page and it does not meet those dimensions, send me the image and tell me that you want me to um, edit the, the picture so you can use it on your professional page and I will crop the picture in to these dimensions and then send you back the picture. And having me do this avoids any squishing or stretching of the picture when you upload it. So if you upload just a regular image, it's going to squish the sides in and make it fit this dimension, and it's not going to look good. So if you have a picture that, want, that you want to use, send it to me. I'll resize it and send it back. And then you will come into here. You'll browse for the image, clicking here, and then you'll upload it. And that is the image that your users will see. So another um, another aspect of the professional page is your Vita information or your resume information. There are a couple of different ways to update this information here. One way is you can go ahead and enter in your CV or your resume right into this uh, box. You can paste from Word. This box right here is basically a, uh, an editor, similar to Microsoft Word, so you can enter in everything there. As you'll see on my page, that's how mine is um, presented. 
I have my information right here. But there is an option to put in a PDF document. As you'll notice right here, my uh, link is disabled because I don't have a PDF document available here. However, you can activate this really easily. So, instead of entering your CV and resume here in this box, you can do what Rich Tolman did, Dr. Tolman, and he put in an instruction here to view my entire CV, please click on the link just below my picture. And you'll notice right here is a link to his CV. Now, when you click on that, you'll be taken to a PDF that is his CV. And this looks much better if, uh, if somebody's going to view it and uh, download it or print it to um, have on their file. This, this option is a much better option, especially for how long a CV can, uh, can be. In this case, it is a pretty long CV. So, how do we do that? If we go back to our, our editing area, you can click on the View and Upload PDF. And all you do is save your CV or your resume as a PDF document, save it to your desktop, and then click the Browse button. And here you can go ahead and search for that file and then upload it. You can also give it a title. In Dr. Tolman's case, his title was um, Rich Tolman CV. And that's all you have to, to do. Now, if you prefer to use that method, you'll want to go back into your CV, the, the view and edit description here, and just delete all of this. Delete all of this information here. And then you can just add a quick, simple sentence to view my entire CV. Click the link just below my picture. So that is one way to do it. I, I uh, really like the method that Dr. Tolman has used. It's quick and clean, and then when people want to print that PDF, they're easy, easily able to without losing any of the formatting. And you have other options here to view and upload videos if you'd like. You can, um, you can embed uh, videos from YouTube or any other sources that you have. You can also edit your calendar if you have um, a pretty crazy uh, teaching schedule or office schedule. You can put all of that information here to view what it looks like. This link is enabled and that's basically what it looks like. It could be helpful uh, for your students if you have your calendar listed there. And then you can also change the layout of your page. And there's only two options to choose from. I of course have the bottom option here, but it's really up to you how you want to use it. Dr. Tolman has the top option, so his is laid out a bit differently than mine. But it's really up to you how you want to do that. And then of course when you're finished, you'll want to click the log out button and once you do you'll be taken back to the list of professional pages um, but that's a quick and simple approach to updating your professional page and managing it in the future if you need any help managing your professional page go ahead and give me a call at extension 8154 or send me an email at jason.hill at uvu.edu and we can schedule some time for me to come down and assist you with your page. Again, I cannot change this for you from my machine because it does require your UV, UV ID and password to log into the system to make changes and you should not give that out to anybody of course. Alright, thanks for watching.